You can f off, you bastard. Mind your own f***ing business. Never come to Malaysia, okay? You should die. In the past few days, I've experienced real hatred. It came in thousands of messages and comments, bullying, cursing, calling me and my family horrible names and even many death threats. All because I created a video disagreeing with the law in a country of Brunei. To my sadness, for the first time in my life, I started a movement fueled by hatred. If this happened a few years ago, I would just delete that video with 45,000 comments of people fighting with each other and said to myself, I hate Muslims. If you will come to the Philippines, I will stone you to death. This is how Islamophobia is born. But today, as I am much more aware of the world and I have many Muslim friends, I know that these hate comments are not the real face of Islam. And I want to make sure you know this too. These people are just a minority who don't follow the rules of their own religion, which in fact says, whoever kills a person unjustly, it is as though he has killed all mankind. And whoever saves a life, it is as though he had saved all mankind. From what I saw around the world, the essence of being Muslim is not to fight, but to be peaceful and good. I saw it in the generosity of Muslims in Ethiopia. I saw it in the kind hearts of Muslims in Palestine. I saw it in the welcoming smile of Muslims in Turkey. I saw it in the colorful Morocco. And finally, I saw it in the most inspiring Muslim brother Irfan from Sri Lanka who prayed every day for the peace in the world. I refuse to believe that this is the real face of Islam. And I don't want to play just a victim here. I'm also ready to say sorry that I've simplified a complicated issue with a rushed and emotional video. I'm sorry. But even if you disagree with me, my Muslim brothers and sisters, can we agree together that the moment many people wish me death, call me a pig, a dog, the moment they call my dead mother green, is also the moment where Allah or any other God would see us sinful. Since 9-11, Muslim people constantly suffer from being stereotyped and seen as extreme. And that is wrong. Because not enough people know that Islam means peace in Arabic. Not enough people know that Islam teaches to not judge others. Not enough people know that the extreme ones do not represent the whole religion. At the end of the day, it is my deepest belief that no one should be ever killed for who they love or what they say. And it is also my belief that the true meaning of Islam, like every other religion, is peace. Peace be upon you.